subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this right now, it means you're now part of the MD family and I'm so happy to be in your company this afternoon. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to your family. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Maggie Kala and this is Mystical Death. Today we're going to talk about diabetic emergencies. Now, I know. I know. Let me get close. I <laughs> I already know <laughs> that you want to click off this video because the topic might not be interesting as you thought it might be. So I'm just cautioning you before you click off the video that you might need this information one day. Diabetic emergencies are really a life and death situation. They can be really fatal and you don't know, you might have a child or a parent or a sibling or a loved one who might need uh, help one day you might be in an emergency situation that can prove to be fatal so it's good to have this information you know okay, so before you click on the video please this is not going to take long this is going to be quick and easy so sit sit down sit down please let's talk about diabetic emergencies so we're going to talk about diabetic emergencies but we're going to focus more on diabetic emergencies that are caused by hypoglycemia so I know these terms might be a little foreign for some people and some people might already be acquainted with the words diabetes, comma, diabetic comma, or anyway, that's not really important because we're going to clear it all up. So let's start with hypoglycemia. To define it in simple terms, it's just low blood sugar. That, that's basically it low blood sugar so blood sugar levels that fall below the normal range that's usually about 70 milligrams per deciliter or that fall beyond uh, somebody's normal glucose targets people have different glucose target rates if they're diabetic but that's not important um let's just go forward with the video without getting too um, technical anyway so to simply start off this so in this video, I'm going to teach you a few things that you need to look out for, especially if somebody is diabetic, something they might experience during what we call a hypoglycemic episode. In a hypoglycemic episode, somebody might experience a bunch of these symptoms. Uh, it usually like cautions you or like warns you that somebody is about to go into a glycemic coma and you might be able to do something about it quickly before they fall into a coma because comas are very serious emergencies and they can prove to be fatal. So what does a person experience or what symptoms uh, does a person experience before they fall into a hypoglycemic coma? So a person might experience really sharp pangs of hunger, they might be anxious, they might be really you know they might be really tired or have a headache or feel really clumsy or be confused or anxious so if somebody is already diabetic and you see that they're experiencing some of these symptoms it might be a clue that they are going into a diabetic coma let me paint a clinical picture for you okay so you have a child or a friend or a parent or a sibling who is suffering from diabetes and you see them that they're sweating or they're confused, they're clumsy, they're like dizzy, they're about to fall. You know that something is happening, but you're not really sure about what's happening. So that might be a clue. If you already know what type of diabetes they have, that might be a clue that somebody is going into a hypoglycemic um, uh, coma or hypoglycemic episode. So what you can do in this stage is give them 15 grams of glucose or something that's very sweet with high loads of glucose, high loads of dextrose. So you can give them, you know, a small little packet, those small juice boxes, or you can give them some fat yogurt, or simply you can give them one tablespoon of sugar, okay? So the person might just, you know, give them some sugar and they'll ingest it and it will help to elevate their glucose levels. But if that is not efficient and somebody still falls into a coma, or you go and get the juice box for your child and when you come back the child is slumped over on the sofa you try waking them up they are obviously not sleeping because you just talked to them two seconds ago somebody nobody sleeps that fast so they are obviously unconscious 
and when we say they are unconscious or in a diabetic coma it's basically a state of unconsciousness that the brain falls into because it's not getting enough nourishment from glucose like you say low blood sugar so the brain needs sugar to function your brain needs glucose to function right so when you have low blood sugar levels your brain is not getting enough nourishment so it gets unconscious and the person slumps over so when you come and you are a woke queen or a woke king you are very knowledgeable so what you can do is give them one tablespoon of sugar or you can give them you know honey or some glucose tablets if they already have glucose tablets or glucose gel um, many people get that from the pharmacy if they're diabetic and if all of these things don't work and somebody still falls into a coma if somebody is suffering from diabetes right they usually have a glucose monitor so what that does is it measures the levels of glucose in the person's blood and it gives you like a reading right it gives you a reading and then it can tell you uh, whether your blood glucose levels are high or whether they are low and the accurate numbers of what they are so if you find that somebody is in a coma and there's one of those monitors around you can just go ahead and you know use the monitor the way it's supposed to be used usually just taking a prick of blood from their finger and then the machine will tell you to obviously load a little bit and then it will tell you the specific level of glucose in somebody's blood now if you see that the glucose levels are below 70 milligrams per deciliter and what you can do in this case is give them a glucagon injection now some of you might already know how to administer an injection and they usually, people who are diabetic, they usually, you know, they have glucagon for emergencies. So if you already know how to administer injections, you can give them a glucagon injection in the thigh. And if you can give injections or you don't know how to administer injections, you need to go on the internet right now. You need to watch YouTube videos and teach yourself how to administer an injection so that you might help out somebody and prevent a fatal situation. Okay, that, that's not good advice. Don't go and learn how to give injections from the internet. No, God, please, no! Uh, but basically, if you don't know how to give uh, injections, you might want to call emergency services and they, they will come and do it and take the person away and give them glucose via IV. Once a person is in a diabetic coma, for example, don't forget that you can still give them glucose in a form of honey. You can take honey and just rub it on their lips or inner lips. You can also rub it inside their cheek. Um, what that does is that it gets absorbed into the bloodstream because honey can pass through the mucous membranes and be absorbed and get rid of this whole situation and raise the person's blood sugar levels. So <laughs> I hope this video wasn't a little complicated. I hope it was clear. I hope I didn't jump over myself a couple of times, which I probably did, but I hope you stayed and I hope you watched throughout this entire video. And if you did, thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it so i really hope you learned something don't forget that knowledge is power knowledge is wealth like that's something that nobody can take away from you if you have knowledge nobody can take that away from you it's a powerful tool it's a very important tool to have in our society these days and i'm so grateful that you chose to sit down and watch this very specific video out of billions of videos on youtube thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye